welcome back. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, we have about a 30 minute or so practice today, so um, won't delay in getting started. Of course, uh, make any modifications that you want. Uh, grab water if you want and stay in Savasana as long as you can. So make it even longer than a 30 minute practice. Um, we're gonna start out on our backs. If you have blocks and like to use them, um, you can bring them with you and we'll start laying flat on our backs with the blocks to the side um, about where your uh, hips and knees are when we move into our recline bound angle supravada konasana. So lying flat back, left foot to left corner of the mat, right foot to right corner of the mat and arms down by the side, palms facing up, just starting in savasana today. Close the eyes, take a nice deep breath in, and open mouth, exhale, let it go. Feel the weight of your back beneath the mat. Again, big inhale, open mouth, exhale, feel heavy. Another big inhale here. And open mouth, exhale. And draw the knees into the chest and give yourself a gentle hug here. So the back of the head is still on the mat. Shoulders are on the mat. Just a little hug in, maybe a gentle rock from side to side if you'd like. And then palms to the kneecaps, fingers point down towards the toes and allow the arms to straighten as the knees fall away from the body here. Just a little bit of weight. Stretching out the arms. You can flex and point the feet. Maybe roll out the ankles. Counterclockwise to start. And when you're ready, reverse direction, so ankle roll. And soles the feet to the mat, knees wide, Supta Konasana. So this is where the blocks might be really nice underneath the knees or the thighs. So you can feel supported here, left hand to heart, right hand to belly, eyes close. Take a moment to set an intention for your practice today. Maybe you've already thought of a mantra or had a reading, said a prayer, spoken with someone who needed a little extra from you today. Maybe it's for them, maybe it's for you. Begin to breathe in and out through the nose. Noticing the rise of the chest, softening the belly. The connection of the back of the head, shoulders, back, outer edges of the feet, elbows. Leaving the legs and feet as they are, sweep the arms up overhead, reach behind you. Fingertips to that wall behind you or the pool or wherever, whatever is behind you. And now make a circle around the head, interlacing the fingers. Really let the shoulders relax here. The gaze falls over to the right. So we're just warming up the neck here, okay? So eyes can still be closed. And now bring the gaze through center and over to the left. 
making a note of the difference, how the left side feels versus the right, just noticing, I'm trying to change it, just acknowledging. And now we move into our crescent moon series. Legs extend long length of the mat. And arms, fingers are still interlaced. Arms reach away, pointer fingers away. So biceps are by the ear. Feet to the lower right corner of the mat. And find that crescent moon shape as you draw the upper body over towards the right and right hands. Past that right, upper right corner of the mat. A big side stretch of the left side body. So if we were standing, we would make sure that we weren't closing it down or opening it up to the ceiling. And here you can feel your hips and shoulders still on the mat. As the left side of the body begins to open up a bit. And notice if you're fighting this here. Maybe take that breath in through the nose to that place that feels the tightest. And then complete exhale out, pulling belly to spine. Press air out through the nose from the place of tightness. One more just like that. Coming back through center, big crescent to the other side. Noticing the difference here, try to keep the shoulders and hips down on the mat. Think of it as an opener for the right side body. Active breathing. Really exhaling completely, making room for that new inhale, but really getting rid of everything that doesn't serve you on the exhale. One more complete round of breath here. And bring it back through center and draw the knees into the chest and give yourself that hug. This time lift the head and neck up. Teeny little ball. Inhale, extend the legs long, arms up high, reaching. So hands and feet are off the mat here, reaching away from each other, a long body and then arms Come down by the side, sweep it in, draw the knees into the chest, hug it in tight. Inhale, extend. And exhale, back into that little ball. We have three more of these. Inhale for length. And exhale, bring it in. Last one, inhale for length. Complete exhale, press the air out, tiny little ball. And head and neck to the floor, cross the ankles over, take the right foot into the left hand and left foot into the right hand. And just let the hands kind of guide the feet down. And then extend the legs a bit, sending the feet towards the ceiling, the ankles are crossed. And bend the knees, draw the feet down. Noting how the ankles are crossed here, switch it. Hug it in and notice the difference. And back of the head is still on the mat. And then send the legs up to the ceiling, crossing the ankles, reach. Full breath. Might feel the belly on the thighs here. Such a nice connection. And then exhale. Bring the feet down. Hug everything in. Release the hands, leaving the legs crossed. Begin rocking forward and back. Go you move into your seats on the mat.
So cross-legged position, seated cows in cats. So find the sit bones down, the shoulders stacked over the hips, the neck's long, crown of the head is high. Hands rest comfortably on the thighs or the knees. Inhale, heart forward, chest open. And exhale, cat. Tuck the tailbone, draw belly to spine, gaze at the navel, arms lengthen, the big arch, lift the hollowing cat back, and inhale, forward cow. And exhale, cat. Three more rounds on your breath. Inhale completely. Belly to spine on the exhale. Press the air out. Let's go. Inhale. And exhale. Coming back through center. Sweep the arms up high. Shoulders away from the ears and fold close the arms. Elbows bend. Take a big inhale and exhale. Twist the torso around the spine to the right. Squeeze the air out. Inhale through center. And exhale to the left. Squeeze the air out. Inhale, squeeze it out to the right, and one more. Inhale through center, squeeze it to the left. And inhale through center, sweep the arms up high, the gaze lifts, and turn the hands away. Wiggle the fingers as you rain the hands down by the side. Move into tabletop pose. Knees under hips, hips distance apart, apart uh, tops of the feet on the mat. Take a peek back, feet should be hiding behind the legs. Wrists a little wider than the shoulders, fingers spread nice and wide, shoulders away from the ears. Gaze is down at the mat. And we inhale, cow. Tailbone lifts, heart opens, belly drops. Exhale, cat. Tuck tailbone, gaze at navel, pull belly to spine, press the mat away. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. One more, inhale. And exhale. Extended child's pose, toes together, knees wide, hips to heels, heart to the mat, forehead to the mat, reach the hands forward. Maybe sway slowly from left to right inside this space. Kind of a massage for the lower back and the length of the spine. Maybe you feel your rib cage meeting the thighs. Maybe you roll the forehead from left to right as you sway. Whatever feels best to you here. And inhale, find tabletop. Step the hands forward, one hand print. Fingers wide, tuck the toes. Inhale, hover the knees and shins. And on your next exhale, down dog, hip tie. Heart melts back and pedal it out. Alternate legs, lifting one heel and then the other.
you want stillness in the legs, you can also shake the head no and nod the head yes. The gaze is back between the legs, the wall behind you, whatever's behind you, kind of the head in the direction of the mat. Inhale, plank pose. Strong here. Not a pike position, not a down dog or up dog. It's a nice strong plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Your next exhale, down dog. Your next inhale, right leg high, three point. And exhale, low lunge, right foot, right thumb. Make the adjustments. Inhale and do your lunge here. So you're hovering over the Right thigh, nice bend in the right knee, fingers dangling towards the mat, next long. Really try to lift that left quad up so we're not sinking down into it. Strong here. Inhale, crescent pose. It's a high lunge. And exhale, twist open to the right. Left arm forward, right arm back. Keep the bend in that front knee. Revolve lunge, left arm comes down, hand plants, right arm high. And exhale, right hand down, lunge. Inhale, right leg high, three point. And exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Breathe here. Do your next exhale, down dog. And inhale, left leg high. And exhale, left foot, left thumb, little lunge. Setting yourself up here. Lifting, hovering over the left thigh, fingers dangling towards the mat, next long, strong, really working on lifting the right thigh, staying strong, committed, and inhale, crescent pose. You may tuck your tailbone here just a little bit, a little bend in that back leg. Squeeze the thighs together. Find that strength, that foundation, and then on the exhale, to the left. Left arm back, right arm forward. In your revolved lunge here, right hand comes down, left arm goes high. Keep lifting the right quad. When we're reaching to the ceiling, we're not reaching back, okay? Just straight up to the ceiling, pressing the mat away, and exhale, left hand comes down, inhale, left foot goes high, exhale, down dog, inhale, plank pose, exhale, all the way down to the belly, keep the elbows tucked in, untuck the toes, inhale, cobra. Buttocks is soft, elbows squeeze in, exhale, lower. Tuck the toes, press through the palms, inhale, plank pose. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, all the way up, find warrior two. Reach the fingers away from the other, pull the shoulder blades together a bit. Reverse your warrior. Keep the bend in the front knee. And it's back into revolve. Pivot on the back foot. Windmill the hands. Left arm down. Right arm high. Exhale. Right hand down. Inhale. Right leg high. 
Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. And all the way up, warrior two. Reach the fingers away, keep the bend in that front knee. Reverse. And it's revolve lunge, pivot on the foot. Left arm high, right hand down. Exhale, left hand plants. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, all the way down in cobra. Just run up the toes. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Tuck the toes. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, down dog. High on the toes, baby steps. Find forward fold, feet up to hands. Nice bend in the knees, elbows in each hand if you'd like. Check for the soft neck and head. In inhale, half lift, hands to the thighs or shins. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Reverse swan dive, arms out to the side, sweep it up with a flat back. And hands come together. Pull your fingers up high, biceps by the ears. Set the right foot forward. Come up on the left toes, find warrior three. If you'd like a little more weight into the right foot, left leg to lift. Reach the hand away from the foot. And then come all the way through, bring the left knee up. Arms come down by the side, left Peace fingers grab the left big toe, right hand on the right hip. Extend the left heel to the front of the mat. Straight green leg. Slowly release. Both feet down. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Reverse swan dive, sweep it up all the way. Hands interlace. Fingertips, pointer fingers away. So notice how the hands are. We went back to the exact same way we had them the first time. So interlace them the opposite way, if you can, if you'd like. Feels a little awkward, for sure. Weights into the left foot, the right foot steps back up onto the toes. So we're in our warrior three here. Whatever version you took on the other side, maybe more weight into that left leg. Right leg comes up. Hand and foot reach away from each other. Biceps by the ears, you're breathing this whole time. And then coming back through, keep the right knee up. Left hand to left hip, right peace fingers to right big toe. Extend right heel towards the front of the room, standing tall, breathing. It's a powerful little practice. And slowly release, both feet down, inhale, sweep it all the way up, grab it all in, all that energy and warmth, exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. One more half lift here. Exhale, fold, and hop or step back to plank pose. Still breathing, heart rate's up just a little bit. 
child's pose, extended or traditional, whatever feels best to you here. I'm going traditional with arms down by the side. Restorative for the shoulders in this direction. Slowly bring yourself up to a seat on top of the heels. If they're not already, take the knees wide. Left arm will go in front. Right hand plant plants behind you. Inhale, lift the hips. Really opening the hip flexors and the quads here. Reach the left hand high. And exhale, coming back down. Left arm behind, hand plants, inhale, lifting, feeling the difference, okay? We're, we've moved equally, but we're trying to, the sides still feel so different. And release it back down. Take the legs long. Grab a little sip of water here if you want. We're going to just move on to our backs. And Take a little Supta Baddha Konasana back where we started, soles of the feet together, knees wide. So maybe um, you don't want the blocks now. Maybe the hips are warmed up and everything feels really warm and happy and you just want to let, let the knees open all the way out to the side and hands back on the belly and the heart or maybe you want the blocks even higher than you started out with, right? So your practice, whatever feels good, whatever allows you to rest, to feel supported, to remain present in this space, in this time, this place, this moment, just you on your mat. Soles of our feet are together, our body is completely supported. Feel the heartbeat and warmth in the body and the warmth in the belly and the rising and the falling of the breath. Can you take just a moment to reflect on? practice here today before we move into complete stillness. Notice we started with a connection and awareness of the entire body laying flat in this asana. Slowly started to wake up the body a bit with our recline bound angle starting to open and we trust Warming up the neck, warming up the hips, the knees, the ankles, the hands. Little twist to the side, our seated and traditional cows and cats, lunges. Some shapes, warrior twos, or balance poses. Noting that we connected to each little place in the body, whether you realize it or not. Staying present in that knowledge on your mat, dedicating this time to you and Practice yoga. You can stay in Sukta Baddha Konasana if you'd like, or if you prefer traditional Shavasana, left foot to left corner, right foot to right, arms down by the side, palms face up, eyes closed, take a big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. 
and let breath take care of you. Staying still here, doing no work, allowing your mat to support you, your body to take care of you now. Resting pose. And the staying as long as you like here. Allowing thoughts to enter into the mind and just as quickly pass by. Connecting through the mat to the earth, to everything and everyone on it. Solidly rooted in this moment. And I encourage you to stay as long as you'd like if time does not permit. Begin to wiggle the fingers and toes, waking up the wrists and ankles. Maybe it's a full body stretch or a hug in, whatever you'd like, but if you find the time to roll onto your right side into that fetal or semi-fetal position. Let the right arm cradle the head. As you're ready, allow the arms to help the body up into a seated position. And then bring our hands together at heart center, keeping the shoulders away from the ears. Nice big breath in and a big exhale out. Thank you for sharing your practice and allowing me to guide you. With that reminder that we're far more alike than we are different from me to you. Namaste. Thanks for those of you who get to stay in Shavasana. Yay. Enjoy. You deserve it. For those that have to scurry, um, good job. Come back to it as often as you can. Take good care. Drink lots of water. See you soon.